stop buying ugly stuff. Come on in and welcome to my home. This video is probably going to get some of you upset, but it might not, simply because it came about for an innocent reason. I was working with a client who had a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff that she needed to have organized, and I found out that one of the problems was she had a lot of stuff. And it wasn't stuff that she wasn't using, it was stuff that was just they needed, they needed to be hidden or put away or moved out of sight because it was just ugly. Now a lot of you are saying, well, what's wrong with ugly stuff? Well, quite a bit. If you're trying to reduce the amount of clutter that you have in your house, one of the things that causes clutter is the fact that you need to hide it away. Hiding things away and having things which are just utilitarian is a problem. It actually can create more clutter than what you think it does because the clutter builds up when you have to put things in places that you shouldn't have to put them in. Here let me give you an example. All of us have those plastic containers where we store our food. And let's face it, they're not really all that attractive, are they? You look in them and they sort of multiply on their own. They're nothing to look at. However, here's where this gets really, really interesting. What if you started buying containers that were attractive, that were really nice, something that you wouldn't mind displaying or putting out, something that was worthwhile, and now you're suddenly saying to yourself, well, if I didn't mind putting it out, I might not mind actually displaying it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's sort of the whole point. If you buy items which look really, really nice, you're going to show them off. If you're showing them off, they turn out for no longer, they're no longer clutter, they're now art. Now, you can't have too much art, I think. I don't know. I won't swear to that one. But the clutter part is really coming into a big problem because we did this whole utilitarian movement where everything just had to do its function and didn't have to worry about being attractive because making things attractive was expensive. Part of this is the manufacturer's fault because they decided that we needed to have cheap items that we could then use for whatever. Part of it was also our fault for not saving our money to buy beautiful items that we would store. Yes, yes, I've read that book that said you're supposed to look at an item and see if it brings you joy. And okay, yeah, at first it was like that sort of flaky and everything. But I think with the different kind of civilizations, cultures, and all that sort of stuff, what, if it, what it really means to me, and this is my own personal opinion, is I'm supposed to look at an item and see if I think it has beauty. Does it do something to the environment? Does it help me uh, think that my place looks better? If so, then I keep it. Yes, it is going to be sort of expensive to get those nicer looking items as of right now, but you're also going to see me change and transform items that I already have into things which were just utilitarian, into stuff that I think will look better in whatever area I am using them in. Things which we were just, you know, just there to hold stuff will become pieces of art so I no longer have the other little knickknacks that I have laying around. I can actually have things that I use. Now you're seeing the whole philosophy. Yes, if you stop buying ugly items and start buying things that are attractive that you can actually use, you're going to start reducing clutter. It's that simple. Does that make a lot of sense? If so, let me know down in the comments. And don't forget, if you do something like that, or you have something like that you want to show me, you can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you, and I hope I get to see you again next time.